check in houses, and next up, we're going to be interviewing someone with a lot to say for herself. A woman who pretended to be a man and the City, and her name is Michaela Kravitz. Kravitz, Michaela, Michaela, hi, welcome to K-Chat. Hello. Hi, so, Michaela, you're a teacher. If you mean professor, yes, I have a doctorate. Teachers are homely women who make minimum wage to keep the teenage boys off the streets during the day. I am very intelligent, and I'd rather talk about that. I'm trying to sell my book. Okay. Now, it says here you wanted to be a man so much, you dressed up like one. Well, that's a load of crap, my dear. More misogynistic propaganda. I hate men. Can't bear them. I think they're a complete waste of time and space, quite frankly, and a disaster for the planet. Me too. I just got dumped. Oh, well, it's unfortunate you measure your self-worth in relation to a man, my dear. Look at you. You could be an attractive girl if you did some visible labor, cut your hair short, grew out your body hair, and wore boots, for example. You mustn't get sucked into their heteropatriarchy. But I like dating. Having someone buy you dinner is great. Well, we'll come back to you and your problems, accepting who you really are. Let's talk about me. Okay. So, tell me about your book. You hate men a lot. And you dress up like one, and now you've written a book about it, right? More or less, as a... Of course, but fascinated. Now, as an academic, I can get paid to write a book about pretty much any... It was dressed up like a man and enter into the man world. I can tell you it was more horrifying than I imagined. What did you do? Well... <laughs> it done to win it. Of course, I had to, so as not to blow my cover. So what's the name of your book? Yes, as mentioned hitherto, my book has a very, very obtuse title. Being and seeing. From Freud to the building sites, a woman's journey into the male psyche. Huh? What? I'll admit it's not very catchy. But academia is not about getting to the point. It's about exploration. Okay. Wow, I'm learning a lot today. Yeah. So I entered the world of men, in disguise, of course. I was dressed like a man. Okay. And you haven't changed that? What? What did you say? You're still dressed like a man. No, I'm not. These are my normal clothes. Amy, for God's sake, don't fall prey to the patriarchy's evil fashion schemes! Oh, sorry. Anyway, I learned a lot when I was a man. Did you know, for example, that during my time as a steel worker at Pittsburgh, I learned that men sometimes speak crudely about women when they are out of earshot? I was horrified. Or that men regard some women, like you, Amy, as mere sex toys. Things where they're amusing. Unbelievable! Or that men actually find sports interesting. It's appalling. And they run the world, my pretty. Oh, yes, they run the world. They do? Yeah. Look at Reagan. Look at Thatcher. Look at Gorbachev. While we stay home and bake cookies. Well, screw that, sweetheart. Yes, I agree. Good. Don't bake a cookie. It's not... Women with a Y. Uh, I think you spelled it wrong. Are you a woman? Three of the five letters that make up your description are M, A, N. Order of a million dollar sports car and a UFO. Partner, let's go cruise the car and look moody. One top downtown precinct. Two outsiders doing things their way. Yuppie. Okay, Juice Auto. Cars from all over America come to find a new home in Florida. Just like you. I moved here after the draft. Football, uh, not Vietnam, even though they do have a lot in common. I noticed there was one thing missing from this great town. A celebrity endorsed used car shop. That's why I found it BJ's Used Auto. Every one of these views is 
freshly painted. They look brand new. We have new models coming in every morning, usually around 2 a.m. We can get you anything. And if you see a car in your dreams, tell us. We can acquire it for you. I've taken the skills I've learned as a pro football player to the used car business. Smash, grab, and run like hell. BJ's used auto. I'm talking low prices with hot cars. If for some reason you'd like to speak to Michaela Crapper, just give her a call on K-Chat. Who's on the line? Michaela, hi. Hey, sister. I'm wearing trousers. I haven't shaved or waxed in nine months. I left my broken-hearted husband and baby behind. Now I'm living in a commune with a series of life partners, having quite simple, amazing experiences. I got my inspiration from a lecture you gave last year. Thank you so much. You taught me a lot. Yes, please. But ask yourself, are you doing enough? It sounds to me like you're living a lot. Your life is still very man-centric. You're still justifying yourself by the I am not rather than the I am principle. I mean, really, you might as well make his bed and clean his litter tray, for God's sake. It's half-hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. But uh, I, I even attacked my brother with a bread knife. You show pony, prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer. You see, Amy, that's the thing. Freedom, freedom for Florida from the stench of people moving here to retire or go on vacation. Build your own damn theme park in your own damn state. Florida theme parks is for Florida people. Up. I don't believe there are theme parks in Alabama. Then they should stop coming down my way and build redneck land or whatever. Damn redneck hicks ain't got no class. My views ain't extreme, mister. They're common sense. And what a lot of people would say if they have the guts. If you keep letting people immigrate here from all over the so-called United States, guess what? There's no more room. We'll be piled on top of each other like they are in Australia. What we're going to do soon, build a river. A river of freedom. A river hope. A river which runs from the coast to coast and cuts us off from the 47 states of waste girls and bad influencers to the north. We are going to cut Florida off from the mainland of our oppressors and float out to sea. Then the nation of Florida will be free to start over. There'll be no long ass lines at the log flume or the pirate ship ride when I take over. You and the kids will be able to ride the rides all day. We will have a roller coaster for each and every Florida family. You know, you're bordering on treason. What you are saying is a very naughty thing, and only because here on pressing issues do we believe so wholeheartedly in free speech are we allowing it. It's the truth, my friend, the damn truth. And before you start, I am not a racist. I hate everybody irrelevant of other issues, but I especially hate Yankees by which I mean anyone from Georgia or further north. Build your own theme parks, buy your own sun, grow your own damn mosquito-infested swamp, pal. We're gonna build ourselves a river. FBI, CIA, I don't give a damn. They can't stop us. You shrub, you yellow bit. State developers and I've cut the cost of policing, saving the city 2% or 25 cents per household over a six-year period.